In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called determining whether an equation defines a function advanced. And we said earlier that if we have a function, then for each x, there will only be one y value. And so for these examples, we can look at the y part of the equation. And if we were squaring a y, like in the first example, squaring a positive and squaring a negative value here for y would result in the same thing. So number one is not a function. In the second example, the y is not being squared. It's just a part of the equation as a variable by itself. So therefore it will be a function. For the third equation, again, the y is by itself. It's in the denominator, so we're doing some division by y. But this will still be a function because I couldn't plug two different y values in for the same x. However, in the last example, we have the absolute value of y. And we know that the absolute value of 2 and the absolute value of negative 2 would be the same thing. So substituting in a 2 and substituting in a negative 2 would be the same end result. So this is also not a function. And we noticed that the two situations that caused us to have something that was not a function is whenever we have an operation being performed on the y where two different values being substituted in for y would lead to the same calculation.